If you're having trouble with your petrol garden product this spring, we've got some helpful tips to get you started. One of the most common issues after a winter in the shed is that the spark plug may need cleaning or replacing. To check your spark plug, firstly locate the cap that covers the spark plug. The cap location and appearance will be different depending on which model or type of product you have. Make sure to check the instruction or maintenance manual for your particular model. Look for a wire and a cap similar to this and you should be in the right place. To remove the cap, grasp it firmly and pull it off. You may need to wiggle it back and forth to loosen the cap. The spark plug will now be visible underneath the cap you just removed. Using the tool that came with your product, loosen the spark plug by placing the tool over it and turning in an anti-clockwise direction. After a couple of turns, you should be able to remove the spark plug by hand. Once you've removed the spark plug, have a good look at it to determine if it needs cleaning. Refer to your product's maintenance manual if you're unsure. The spark plug may just need to be cleaned and gapped. To clean the spark plug, use a wire brush to remove any dirt that has built up. If cleaning the spark plug doesn't resolve a problem, you can just replace it with a new one. Check which replacement you should buy in your product's manual or online at www.gardenservicecentre.co.uk. To fit your spark plug, carefully start screwing it into place in a clockwise direction. Ensure that the screw threads are properly aligned when inserting so as not to damage it. The spark plug should turn freely with very little effort if the threads are properly aligned. Continue to screw the spark plug in place and use the tool to tighten it. Make sure you don't over tighten as this may cause damage to your product. Relocate the spark plug cap by lining up the metal contact in the cap with the top of the spark plug. Push and wiggle the cap until it is firmly back in place and feels secure. The next part to check on your product is the air filter. Firstly, locate the cover for the air filter. The location may differ depending on your model. Check your instruction or maintenance manual to confirm the correct location. The cover will have either a simple catch or a screw that will need to be loosened to remove the cover. Either press the catch and gently swing the cover off the locating prongs, or loosen the screw and remove the screw and the filter box entirely, as shown. If there is any debris in the cover, make sure you clean this out. Now that you can see the filter, make sure that you remove any visible debris from this as well. The filter should simply come out of the housing with a gentle pull. Now that you have removed your air filter, you should brush off any loose debris and wash the filter in some warm water with a little washing up liquid. Submerge the air filter and squeeze it a few times. Squeeze out any excess water and place between some absorbent tissue. Press down on the filter a few more times to dry out any remaining moisture. It is essential the filter is completely dry, at which point you are now ready to place it back into position. After a winter away, any fuel that may have been left in your product will have become contaminated. This means that you will have to empty your product and refuel with fresh fuel. Firstly, locate the petrol filler cap. Clean the area around the cap to ensure no sediment can enter the fuel tank once it's opened. Position a suitable container to collect the fuel you will be removing. Remove the fuel filler cap and tilt the product to the left. Start fuel emptying into your container. Once the fuel tank has been emptied, make sure you wipe clean any spillages. Warning! Always shut off engine before fueling. Never add fuel to a machine with a running or hot engine. Move at least 30 feet or 9 meters from refueling site before starting engine. Do not smoke. This product is powered by a two-stroke engine and requires pre-mixing of fresh unleaded petrol and two-cycle oil. Ensure you use a high-quality two-stroke engine oil. Do not use automotive oil or two-cycle outboard oil. To fill your product with fuel, you'll need to mix petrol and engine oil using the provided mixing container. Using the markings under the label 40 to 1 on the bottle, pour the fuel in the left-hand side, A, up to the required level, for example 5 or 10. Then fill the right hand side, B, up to the same corresponding mark with oil. Rotate smoothly to mix the two products prior to pouring into the fuel tank of your product.
Clean the area around the cap to ensure no sediment can enter the fuel tank once it's opened. Now refill the tank following the instructions in your user guide. It may help to use a funnel. Make sure not to overfill the fuel tank. Clean up any splashes or overflow petrol and replace the filler cap, making sure the cap is finger tight. Remember, always be sure you dispose of used fuel in a safe and responsible way. Check with your local authority or recycling centre for the nearest location for used fuel disposal. Warning, refuel in a well-ventilated area with the engine stopped. Do not smoke or allow flames or sparks in the area where the engine is refueled or where petrol is stored. Avoid repeated or prolonged contact with skin or inhalation of vapour. Caution, petrol is highly flammable and extreme caution must be taken when handling or working with it. Keep out of the reach of children. Using a suitable fuel container, refill the tank following the instructions in your user guide. Make sure not to overfill the product. Clean up any splashes or overflowed petrol and replace the filler cap, making sure that the cap is finger tight. Place your product on a flat surface away from any obstacles. If your product has a primer bulb, gently press it a few times until no more bubbles are visible. This could be up to seven presses. Set the choke lever down fully so that it's at full choke. Holding the product firmly by the rear handle with one hand, pull the cord back quickly and smoothly twice. Now set the choke lever to half choke. Now select the on position on the product. Pull the cord back quickly and smoothly in one motion. This should start the engine. If the engine doesn't start first time, repeat this process three or four more times. When the engine has started running, pull the start grip quickly and firmly. This will return the choke back to its original position. After about 30 seconds of the engine warming up and getting up to speed, you can now operate the machine. If you're still having trouble with your product, please contact our technical support team on 0845 450 5299 or go online at www.gardenservicecentre.co.uk